But okay, excellent. So the idea in any case is not that you watch lectures on YouTube. Not come to class. The idea is that it's only for revision. You should really come to class. 381. Oh my god. I don't want to see it. <coughs> I don't want to see that. Let's just go. Um, very important thing. I have to, you have to elect, we have to elect class representatives, uh, which I always find because it's the first year and you don't really know each other. But I'd like you to elect. Uh, <coughs> Big enough for three, so um, we'll do that on Monday. And I don't know what you're going to do, but maybe in the weekend you can think about it. Um, not a lot of work, you have to come to three little meetings, they're really quick, and you have to uh, receive and process and uh, write emails from other students. The feedback we don't mind. I do not mind complaints. We do the feedback so that we can get better. Um, we, we do it all in the side. So all the undergraduate students come, and um, all the lecturers are there, and it's just an open meeting with anybody. Sometimes students complain a lot, and then we try to fix that. Talk to that lecturer if the or if his lectures, if he can only be drunk at some lectures. <laughs> Don't be drunk at all of them. Whatever. So, and of course, we're very happy that people are have compliments as well. Um, you get a lot of email. Some people go crazy. There are crazy people who kind of write like write a little novel about how the class was going and what happened every single day and I see that 10 o'clock on the 25th of March you did so and so but then uh, do is collect the emails maybe ask them if they don't give you feedback just chat to a few people and then I so so we try to fix those kind of things. We want to make our teaching good and exciting because computer science is exciting. We're going to do exciting stuff. I'm excited. I'm always excited about this course. It's honestly my favorite course because um, teaching people to program is fun. And if they can program, that's OK. And it's nice to interact with them. But the magic is to take someone who knows nothing and teach them. Wasting time. What else do I need to tell you? Oh, the TAT. So yesterday's TAT was a disaster from your perspective, but a big success from mine, because this happens every single year. We have loads of people who can't log in. Um, I don't like the tats this year because I have to give two tat sessions, but that's fine. I'll survive. But let's stick to the schedule. If you allocate it to group one, come on Tuesdays <coughs> or Thursdays, and if you allocate it to group two, come on Tuesdays, uh, let's just stick to that. I know that people are going to ask me to change over. I'm going to say no. But the truth is that uh, we don't check your cards, student cards at the TATS. If you don't want to come to the TATS, you don't have to. They're not compulsory. Um, if you do not come, if you have an emergency, like a car has run over your legs <laughs> on the way to the TATS, I don't really expect you to show up. That's fine. That's kind of like, OK, cool. <laughs> Fair game. Okay. Um, if you know the work really, really well, and you find the touch upsetting because it's too easy, then you mustn't come. We'll disrupt. But you must definitely work through the touch on your own at home. And if you find that they're not as easy as you thought, maybe it's, you'd better come to the touch. Um, if you can't program or don't feel that programming is really strong, you must definitely come to the TATS. The only way we can teach programming, the one reason why we don't do all of this online, is that, but like mathematics, programming is something you have to explain to people face to face. 
I want the student to be there to be all come along and say, what's going on? <coughs> Let's calm down and analyze what's going on. Uh, is this right? Is this what you're supposed to write on this line? Is this really what you want the computer to do? Let's think through your program. Because that's the way programmers think. They think like a computer. And I want to teach you that. And the only way to teach you that is physically being there. So um, that's how you are going to learn programming. Anything else, admin? -y? I'm speaking English. The interpreter is still available. Um, but no update to that either. No update. No one asked for heads up. It's fine. Uh, they're not, I know you're not shy because last year people did this all, uh, all the time. So, unless you're the shy generation. Okay, fine, cool. Let's do some real stuff. I cannot believe it. It's the third lecture and I'm already behind. But let's see if I can catch up a little bit. So, on Wednesday, I was supposed to talk about variables and types. We were supposed to talk about variables and types. And we do it. I I was going on about, I don't know what, oh, I have to watch the YouTube. But um, by this time, um, other than you couldn't log in, but you heard me talk about it, or um, you're going to be in that on Tuesday, and we did cover this on Wednesday as well, you know one, one <coughs> command, once we call them statement of Java, and that is system.out.println, which will display, as far as we know, a string on the screen. And nothing else. But we can display all kinds of stuff. But it's all static. It's, if we write programs only like that, and we can, and they can be impressive, but it'll always be just, I'm showing you something. We want to do calculations and respond to us in some way. So we need to learn. Remember, a program is simply a list of instructions, a list of statements that I give to the computer. And the more statements, kind of statement my life will be. Uh, everybody moves around all <laughs> the same place, and more importantly, wear the same clothes. So I can know who and where you are. All I know is Noah. <laughs> what happened to Rupert? No, Rob. 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 Where's Rob? He's gone already. Uh, who's the other guy? Naiz? Taps, yes, Taps. I remember Taps. Who's Taps? <coughs> what? Don't be shy. I can't, I can't see. He's also gone. Oh, well, I lost. <laughs> I don't even go any further. So, um,. We need to learn, the more statements we can learn, the better we can write programs. And I started to talk yesterday about this idea that we want to manipulate things, we want to manipulate data. So we have these uh, <coughs> containers where we can store data, information, they're called variables, which is the whole point of this uh, section. And um, if we say, I want a container, I want a box to put some data in, in this variable, I need to tell Java what am I going to put in the box. A box can only contain one kind of thing. If it's an integer, if it's a number, it can contain different numbers one at a time. But Java needs to know this will be a number box, it will be a string box. So I have to tell it what kind of box. Is. And we have.
original point. That's a cold fit number and point Then there are the who's an English native speaker. <laughs> because it's not a word. It's a person. It's not Dr. George, who was a famous mathematician in the 1800s. And we call him Booleans because he works with logic. True or false. Right. right. So now let's go next to <coughs> job. Um, I've already told you that a it's a name that we first a variable, and every box needs a name, a variable name, so that I can. And the first kind of statement I'm going to need is a declaration, which tells Java I want a new box, and it will create a box. Write this statement. A. Well, let's forget about the code. I'm just going to write in a semicolon. That is a declarable declaration of what contains int, and I want you to call it a. That's a new box called a uh, that can store integers. And you can have a whole list, which is why there's a comma here. You can say, I want two boxes, one called a, one called b, <coughs> and I write int space a comma b semicolon and semicolon write the semicolon at the end of the system um, just compulsory it helps Java to know where the statement ends it's like the full stop at the end of a sentence right so if I if I write this statement which I can and which I will now do uh, where do I go first I go here, swap this one. Okay. So, um, I don't know what to call these things. I'll call them five. Um, in the chat yesterday, I told people that I could use the G edit editor, but uh, since this is a Mac, I use a different editor, which I've used all my life. So, I'll just keep on. Let's write the same thing, not Friday. We need the braces. This is a magic formula. Equals bracket arcs brace brace. Okay, we're always going to use this formula for now. Later on, we'll do something else. And one thing that I may not have stressed enough <coughs> is that this program that I'm writing is called Friday. That's its name at the top, and that's why I'm storing it in a file called Friday in Java. Um, if you file name as the program name, Java will complain. But I'm not going to show you now because what I want to the internet. Oh. <gasps> no, this is my screen. <laughs> oh man, sorry, YouTube. I'm pretty sure I did this before. Okay, never mind. Sorry, YouTube. Okay, fine. Here it compiled, and I'm gonna run my little program, Java Friday. And it does nothing. Well, I can see nothing happening. But Java has done something. It created that box, source an int, called A. And I just can't see it. And uh, that's the only instruction I gave it. Right here. So, second important instruction is to put something inside the box. And we call this an assignment. An assignment statement. An assignment. An assignment. Uh, Java is very strict. Um, its grammar is quite simple. And you have to follow. The uh, 
always of one variable like a sign, a single equal sign that I want to put inside the box. So in this case, I'm putting um, this is another night inside B, and the last one. It's to the A in the B. In this program, out the print line, and previously I just put a string here, but the string is I can really put anything I want, so I can put numbers here as well, and I can also put the number variable. In which case, Don will say, okay, Yaku is asking me to do a system out of print line of A. I know that A is a box containing a variable, and I'm going to fetch the value from that box and display that. So I'm hoping it'll display 666, which is just a number, and I'm going to do the same for B. Yes, you want to ask me something. What's your name? Craig. Craig. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Number. Java can put it I promise. Well, we'll find out. Maybe I'm making a big mistake. Am I thinking of something else? else? No, I'm pretty sure I can print numbers. Let's see. Let's move that a little bit. No, no, no. Oh. And let's move this a little bit. That's all the space I'll need. Let's compile again. Actually compile, because Java, the last time I compiled, Java C has created an extra file called Friday.class. That's the one that is only the variable declaration, <coughs> the first one I wrote today. And if I run that again, without <coughs> recompiling my program, it will do see but it doesn't show it. So um, I have to, I've changed the, the source file, the job, so I have to recompile it, and now if I execute, it actually I want you to fix the value of this file, and it brings it to B. 13. Um, had I wanted to print a real A, I would have had to do something else. I would have had to do print the string A. Or since A is a single character, I also could have told it print the A. I'm going to clear the screen. Don't worry. Recompile. Rerun. And print that. Okay. So now we know three commands. We know system print, system out print line. We know uh, variable declarations, which creates a box, and we know variable assignments. Just for fun, let's try to do something funny. Okay. Let's do the assignment first, and then declare the box. Is Java clever enough to pick this up? You say no, but you that hurts, man. <laughs> That was very clever, but not that clever. Okay. It's complaining. It says, in the file Friday.java on line five, line five, no. error, cannot find symbol, and it's complaining about the A. So at this point, if it just doesn't count, and I haven't told it to create box A, 
that only comes in line six. So Java compliance says you can't do this. I don't know what A you're referring to. This is really important because uh, in some cases there can be multiple A's and Java needs to know which A I'm actually referring to. Always needs to know what's going on. So I can't just start talking about A. In other languages you can. There are languages where you don't have ever have to declare a variable and if you just say put this value in this box and that box doesn't exist, the language will create the box for you automatically. But Java is not one of those languages. We don't like to mix with those languages. <laughs> now, blowing your mind. This is a combined statement which combines a declaration and an assignment. It says, create a new box called C. I want to put values in C. And it's going to contain integers. It's going to contain numbers. And I want you to immediately put inside that box C that I've just created the value of this. Uh, mustn't point at the screen because YouTube can't see that. Uh, of this, but I can't highlight this either. Because if I try, I like that. But the A plus B. So Java's really clever. It says Yaku wants me to create a box C for integers, and it wants me to put A plus B inside. I know that A is a box containing an integer, B is a box containing an integer. I'll add them. 666 plus 13 is 679. And I'll put that value inside C. I'm going too slow, but let's do that. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. New box C, A plus B. I want to print C. I'm hoping it'll print 679. Um, I can type quite quickly, but what helps me most is knowing the shortcuts for my particular editor. So. It's a really good idea to learn how to use your editor. Um, there is nothing as crashing in life as helping a student. I need to open a different editor for this. I hope it's the right one. I promise you, there's nothing that <coughs> crushes my soul more than helping a student and asking them to fix the 13, the B equals 13, and then having to sit through this. Or let's change the 13 to a 14. Okay. <laughs> I'll just restart this in a while. Once I've done the change, just hang on. I'm there. I'm almost there. Just, just a second. So I'm, oh, I'm going slower now. I'm getting close. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Please do not do that to me. Um, learn how to use. Um, Many wonderful ways of uh, of doing things. I mean, your editor is really quite powerful. If you wanted to suddenly type a lot, you can it can do that stuff. Okay, so learn to use it. Not this one necessarily, but whatever you use. Okay, okay, right. So we were declaring this amazing double statement, which has declaration. And Java's clever enough to even add these two numbers. So we're hoping it's going to print um, 679. Um, yes, I do want to edit it differently. Out. Right, let's compile. I'm going to clear the screen. Let's compile. Oh, <laughs> uh, I should have asked if it's going to work. I missed the golden opportunity. I forgot to fix my old mistake. Yeah. Okay, compile and execute. Okay, and it's been six, seven, nine as I had hoped. Right, excellent. Let's speed up a little bit if I can. It's all about tracing. Well, it's in your little mind to know what's going on inside the computer because that's how I, in my little mind, think about computer things. And if you're stuck, I mean, 
if you look at a program like this, it's not just a big bundle of feelings. This isn't an abstract painting. Uh, this is science, and this is computer science more particularly. And you can do follow what the computer does. It's not going to go, oh, it's a long program. I don't know what to do, but I'll just I'll have a stab at it. I'll just see what I can do with this program. It, it just simply executes your program one line at a time, starting at the first line. And that's how you must think about it as well. So the point of this slide and the next 20 slides is to... Um, to show you what happens, if, how you should think about it. So it's based on a little program um, that I will now write. I uh, hope I'm writing it correctly. Um, let's get rid of that and rid of that. And do this. In fact, I'm going to change this program a little bit. I'm going to use a combined assignment there and a combined assignment here. Um, give me a second to peek ahead a little bit. I'm going to use the, the correct numbers. Then I'm going to say P equals a, A equals B. Okay. And I could print A and B. So A starts off as 1, 2, 3, 4. B is 99. And T, well, let's see what it does. T is a new variable that holds integers. And then I say, put the value of A in T, put the value of B in A, and put the value of T in B. Okay? So if you've never seen that before, it's something that we do all the time in computer science. But... To know what will happen in the end could be tricky, or maybe not in this case. But um, one thing you can do is to actually, on paper, trace out how the variable values flow around. So in this case, <coughs> if I just start off with that declaration, and I'll go back and fix everything here so it looks the same. Uh, B. OK. So, if after this statement, I have two boxes, A and B. And I can hold integers, but at the moment, the content is undefined. <coughs> it's not really undefined. In fact, Java puts zeros in those boxes if you don't say otherwise. But that's not perfectly guaranteed for all languages. When you write programs, it's best to think of the content of those boxes, A and B, as undefined. When I do that assignment, a equals 1, 2, 3, 4. After this assignment, I have a 1, 2, 3, 4 in A, and B is still undefined. Which is, it hasn't changed, which is why I put it in gray. Um, after this assignment, I'm going to have A stays 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not affected. But B now contains 99. And then I have int T equals A. Let me fix the program to say that. Okay. Cool. So I'm making a new box T, and I put the value of A inside T. The 1, 2, 3, 4 stays in A. It's not as if I'm taking out of A, A becomes undefined, and putting it inside T. Um, what I'm telling Java is that um, make a new box called T, and put into T this value. So Java will say, OK, I need to calculate what this value is. A is a box, contains 1, 2, 3, 4. So the value that Daku wants to put inside T is 1, 2, 3, 4. But A is not affected by this law. So after this, A is still 1, 2, 3, 4. B is still 99. And T now contains 1, 2, 3, 4. Next statement says A equals B. Oh, yeah, it does. Good. My program. So now I'm, it's an assignment that puts the value of B inside box A. So A becomes 99. B is 99. And T is still 1, 2, 3, 4. And lastly, B equals. So A stays 99. B will value 1, 2, 3, 4 because that's what's in T. And T will stay 1, 2, 3, 4. So at the end of all these assignments, I have. I started with A containing 1, 2, 3, 4, and B containing 99. 
then I end up with A B 99 and B 1234. And T was just really a swap space. Where I put the 1, 2, 3, 4 for a while. So this is called a swap, and we do this all the time. If you want to exchange two values in Java, A is a value, B is a value, I want to change them around. Then this is the way to do it. You have to use, well, you don't have to, but we usually use a third variable called a temp or an auxiliary variable. Yes, what's your name? David. Oh, David, yes. It's Clay. David, yes, Okay, so, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm doing that. Um, I'm going to repeat David's question because YouTube didn't hear it, David. You have to speak up. <laughs> you have to speak into the internet, okay? Um, what Craig asked, uh, sorry, what David asked is, um, if I have an undefined variable value and I put it inside a, a, another box, will that box also become undefined? Um, we are now in a very dark and dangerous part of programming because you're not supposed to manipulate undefined values. You're not supposed to have undefined values ever. It's bad programming if you have variables that are undefined. But to answer your question, uh, let's write a little program to find out. I want to keep this one. I want to run it in a second. But let's create one we'll call Saturday. And I'm just going to steal all the code for Friday. Let's make one box A, a different box B containing 111. Then I'm going to put the value of A, which is undefined, in box B. And then I'm going to display both A and B. Ah, uh, can't I? Okay. Right. Question one. Will it compile, David? Wait, what? <laughs> the computer is not too slow. <laughs> it's not going to necessarily just do what you, you tell it nonsensical things. And what happens if you tell it destroy yourself? <laughs> or what happens worse? What happens if you tell it don't do what I'm telling you now? <laughs> we can't just say again. The paradox, exactly. Bad. So. Um, who thinks it will compile? It won't compile. A couple of people. So I made some kind of mistake. I mean, David made some kind of mistake. Who thinks it will compile? <laughs> Who can't think? <laughs> Who is paralyzed in their arms? <laughs> Both arms. See, I don't know, but I'm got a sneaky suspicion that this one compiled because Java compiler is clever enough, not clever enough to avoid division by zero, but clever enough to say I'm using an undefined variable. Maybe it'll just give me a warning. Oh, it's a real error. It says variable A might not have been initialized. <laughs> Very sorky, okay. <laughs> and this is one error. Even though it doesn't know, it's not sure. You can tell by the tone. Variable A <laughs> might not have been initialized. It's not initialized. It's also one error. <laughs> it's not quite sure of the error. It just doesn't know exactly. Okay, so this doesn't even compile. Sorry, David. But it had compiled. The way Java is formulated, A would contain zero, and, and both A and B would be zero. Um, in other languages, it will give some random value, like 7, 6, 5, 6, 5, 7, 6, 3. It's not determined what value it will be. And that's why undefined variables are so dangerous, because we don't know what's inside them. 
We can't assume anything. Even in Java, Java, the official definition of Java is that if you don't initialize a variable, it will contain a Z. But you can see the programs that rely on that. And that's good because not all compilers are perfectly guaranteed to implement that. So this is a good thing. Someone else has. <coughs> What's your name? It's Ben. Okay, it's Ben. What? What's the question? I'm Arab man. It's Ben. I mean, I'm like, I'm so sorry. What's wrong there? So um, Ben had a question that he can't recall, but that's fine. Um, we can look at that. Um, let's just go back to what's the time? Oh, damn! I'm out of time. How could it be? Oh, Afrikaans. Okay, well, let's just quickly run this program in English, and then I'll run it in Afrikaans. Um, <laughs> go back. So we're doing the swapping, and I just wanted to prove to you that um, I'm going to print, print A and B before we start, and I'm going to print A and B after we're done. Um, I want to compile Friday again, and I want to execute it. Okay, so at the start, A was 1, 2, 3, 4, and B was 99. And then I did the swap, and now A is 99, and B is 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. Um, I'm not going to finish these slides ever. I'm not sure if I them in a 25 years of some course like this. Fascinating stuff, and I'll come back to it a little bit, but we have to move on. I know you've read the chat. And I know that you it's not my head. It's the fact in the time. Yes. Slides on silent. Yes, they are now, but you mustn't read the slides. The slides are mine. You must read the book. Don't read the slides as a little the book because they're not. They're really bad. They're for us to talk about in class. Right. Um I will, I promise, I will speed up. But, uh, but I'm not going to officially finish these slides on Monday. So, um, quick up and down summary. It will be really quick. Um, all of us will have to be proud of is three of our computers. Here stands, Maanach, Kies, Oos, Klaas, Wetting, Woordiger, Dinkie, Bikkie, Anders, Sins, Gaan, Ek, Net, Lip, Raak, Mens, and Kies. Tweede, Kutte, Kutte, Real, Ehm, Chaos, but my mind is going to end up here. This young man, I'm all about to be a mask. So, um, on how many to the So, I'm going to ask you to be a mask. And I'm going to be a mask. I'm going to be a mask. I'm Die Allemaal, Maar dat is een van de andere verklarings, waar die van Java sê, ek wil heel veel andere keer ons die type van de en ek die naam, en ons het geleer van tokens, assignments. So jy kan een waarde token, jy kan van die waarde hy in die veranderlijke en ons het gepraat oor die omrouw operatie, wat baie algemeen is in die programmering, ons gebruik het afgaan, ritmels, en gewin ek op precies hierdie manier. Dit lyk in vouder. En laatstens ek na 
toekenning te sit voor jy hy het ongeinitialiseerde ware te gebruik van een veranderlijke. Gelukkig sal Java dit nie eens vertaal nie. Oké. Okay. Ek maandag 11 uur uh, baie dank vir die